Hey guys, welcome back to Reignited and our Automotive Basics series. Now in this video, we're going to talk about engine displacement. What does that mean? You often hear people refer to their engine and say, oh, I've got a 350, or I got a 392, or I got a 5.7, or I got a 6.4, or I got a 440. What exactly are they talking about? Well, they're referring to the size of their engine, and you may know that, but what you might not know is how exactly that size is calculated and what does that physically mean? Now, if you're new to automotive, it can be easy to think that that engine displacement has something to do with the overall physical size of the engine itself. In reality, it has nothing to do with that whatsoever. The only thing that matters for calculating engine size is the air, or rather the volume of air that each cylinder has as the piston is moving up and down. That's why it's called engine displacement, because those pistons are displacing an exact amount of air for every single cycle of the engine. Now, of course, there's an established formula for calculating the exact volume of air that's capable of each cylinder. What we're going to do here is we're going to take the bore, the overall bore, we're going to cut that in half, that's going to be our radius. We're going to go ahead and square that number, and then we're going to times that by pi. When we do that, that's going to give us the area of our cylinder now we need the volume. So now we need to take that number and times it by the stroke that we have. As soon as we do that, that gives us the overall volume of an individual cylinder, and then we have to times that number by the amount of cylinders there are in the engine. So we're gonna run through this as a practice exercise here with this particular engine. Now, to start with, we know that this engine here is a 5.7 liter Hemi engine. That means that we should calculate a number around 5,700 cubic centimeters of engine size. So let's run through our quick formula calculation here and see if we get the exact number we should. So I'm going to be doing my calculations in millimeters because this engine, that's what the specifications are provided by is millimeters. So I'll show you how to calculate in millimeters and then convert that to cubic centimeters and then convert that to cubic inches. So I know that this engine the bore size here is 99 and a half millimeters. So we're gonna take that 99 and a half, we're gonna divide that by two to get our radius. That's 49 and three quarters millimeters. Now we're gonna times that by itself, and we're gonna times that by pi. All right, that gives us 7,771.7 millimeters squared. Now we have to times that by our stroke, which on this engine is 91 millimeters. That gives us 707,224 cubic millimeters. Now, to break that down, into cubic centimeters, we're gonna go ahead and divide this number by a thousand. All right, that gives us 707.2 cubic centimeters per cylinder. Now we have to times this by eight cylinders, which overall gives us a number of 5,657.8 cubic centimeters. Now, obviously this is known as a 5.7 liter, which is 5,700 cubic centimeters. So it's very much within that range. And you'll find that very often when you talk about engine displacements, they're not entirely precise. They kind of just round it to the next closest number. Even sometimes they'll end up rounding it down just so it's a more even aesthetically pleasing number. Now, probably the most famous example of this would be the Ford Fox body Mustang with its infamous five liter engine. But interestingly enough, it's not actually five liters. It is a 302 cubic inch engine, which translates to about 4.9 liters, but that's not interesting. So they rounded it up to make it an even 5.0. And I, for one, am glad that they did. Otherwise, we never would have gotten one of the most iconic songs of the 90s. Rolling in my 5.0 with my rag top down to my hair came low. Now, again, if we want to take this number and then convert it into cubic inches, all you have to do is times this 5,657 number by 0.06. Now, as a reminder, every 1,000 cubic centimeters is referred to as a liter or a liter of air. Let me give you a visual representation of exactly what size this engine is. So here you go. This right here is a physical representation of the amount of air your engine can displace for every single cycle. This is very close to what your 5.7 liter Hemi engine can displace. Now, what if you're talking about a Honda? You've got a two liter K series motor. There you go. Two liters. This is a 1000 cc motorcycle, also known as a leader bike or a super bike. Here you go right there. So I have to ask you guys, did that actually surprise you to know that that's what engine displacement actually means? If you have a topic or suggestion for our next automotive basics series, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. But until then, we'll see you next time on Reignited.